AC and Luna here. Today, we're going to show you Auto Park. My friend called Tesla and they told her that her Model X doesn't have Auto Park, but she has Autopilot, which is inaccurate because every Model X ships with Autopilot and her Autopilot is turned on, which means that she has Auto Park. So today I'm gonna to show you how to actually perform the Auto Park maneuver. We're gonna start with this traditional per perpendicular parking and then we're gonna move on. If I can find enough spaces to do a parallel park, we'll do that as well. First thing you wanna do is you wanna find two cars that are next to each other, like these. Because currently, auto park only happens blind. Even though there's lines and plenty of open spaces, your car might not see and recognize them. But it will use the ultrasonic sensors and, and work with them there. If you have autopilot one that's activated, enhanced autopilot or full self-drive on the uh, full self-drive computer, AP 2.5 or AP 2.0 computer, this will work. So basically every Model X, every Model 3, every Model Y, and then pretty much most any Model S that you'll find after 2014, uh, October, will be equipped. Let's get started. We're gonna start with these two cars over here. You have to stay within range of the uh, um, ultrasonic sensors, which on the Autopilot 1 cars is about 16 feet. And on the Autopilot 2 and newer cars, it'll be about 28 feet. So the first thing you want to do is just drive up past the spot. You're going to need the corner of your car to pass the spot. And you're going to see on your screen here, you're going to see a little gray P. Uh, on your Model 3s, it'll be on the other side here. All right, so something happened where it didn't like that space. So let's go on to the next one. We're looking for the gray P. And you just kind of scan past it. You want to stay below 20 miles an hour and the car will let you know what it likes. Uh, these kind of spaces are a little harder because there's no curb behind them. Now again, the car is parking blind, so you do want to be careful what it's parking off of, like these snow plows. You don't want to clip a corner. It does work without a curb, but it works so much easier with a curb. So let's try this uh, parking lot cleaner and this Nissan Versa. All right, so we're going to drive on past. Hopefully the shape of that truck doesn't freak out the car. And it did not deem that acceptable. Now we'll do this on both the left and the right, so it doesn't matter if it's a one-way road or not. I'm just kind of ease on past these cars. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't like them. Without a curb, the best way is if there's another car on the other side, like this uh, here. Oh, okay, there we go. So you get a P like this. And if you're in the uh, radar view, uh, this guy, it'll tell you what it's trying to do. So you shift to reverse, and then you let go of the brake, and you push start. Uh, the key with that letting go of reverse is uh, you must have kind of hold mode on, otherwise your car will roll away if you're in creep mode. And so the car will get really close to stuff, but you do have to watch it just in case it makes a mistake, but it generally does all right. Um, you also have to watch for pedestrians because your car is quiet. And again, it is parking blind, so it may not park on the lines. And if you're parking up against the curb, watch to make sure it doesn't curb itself. You don't want to be one of the many Teslas with curb rash on the wheels. And then when it's done, it will uh, shift into park. Be ready to push the brake. The brake will pause it. And then you can hit resume if you need to. And there you have Tesla Auto Park. There are no settings for this. You just have to pass a spot that the car likes and it will offer to park. What we're going to do now is we're going to let Luna go into the store and shop and then when she's done we will find a parallel parking spot. So as you saw the auto park is sometimes a little difficult to initiate 
Now the car wants the spot to be perfect. Once it is, you're good to go. Just hit the button and supervise away. The car is parking blind, so you need to watch for your wheels, watch for any obstructions that pop up because it is only using the ultrasonic sensors. They'll only park in reverse and the performance is largely based on, on the environment. So sometimes it won't offer a spot that it will offer on the next time around. So you, as you saw, we went around twice for that one spot to try to get it to go. Ended up at a tighter spot. It actually wanted that one better. So if you don't have a curb, if you have a second row, like if there were another car on my side next to this uh, Pikachu uh, charger, next to this Pikachu charger, then we could uh, we could try to park in between those guys. And if you'd like, we have a Patreon. You can subscribe for as little as a dollar a month, and every little bit helps the channel out. We do appreciate it. So coming up next, we're going to try and show you a parallel park with this, uh, with the uh, auto park. Look for that in one transition. So parallel parking works the same way. You look for the little P or be here on the Model 3, uh, and then it gives you the diagram of what it's trying to do. So we shift in reverse, let go, hit start. Watch for the crazies. And then the car navigates itself into the spot. I don't know why people think that they can rush you. The reverse lights were on and everything. She's going to try to squeeze on by. The car will do everything it needs to do to center itself in a parallel spot. That's really the only difference between the parallel and perpendicular parking. Ta-da! If you like videos like this, where I show you little uh, tips and tricks on owning your EVs and Teslas, or if you like my supercharger reviews, as well as other charging station reviews, feel free to subscribe. Turn that red button down below gray, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. That was auto parking with your Tesla. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the flip side.